Wayne, Wayne what you do to Super Bowl? What? Ferrari cost 600,000, stop playing with me Hundreds with the blue faces, feeling nipsy Louis V briefcases, getting tipsy Keep it with me, it's a murder if a nigga tempt me The streets talking, you niggas know what it do With some money, I could never imagine you I be ducked off, I ain't got nothing to prove I'm in Malibu with a nigga fool 400 I'm just be honest with y'all, man. I gotta look at the I gotta look at the iPad when I do this. Cause I told y'all we're not doing none of that old simple ass regular podcast shit. We like interviewing some legendary people. So it's impossible for me to even introduce the guests. Yeah. Without like really giving a rundown because I just like that. Give them the rundown. Undermine the goat we have in front of us. Yeah. Appreciate that. 30 years in the game. Five-time Grammy Award winning, multi-platinum, first male artist to surpass Elvis Presley. Some of us don't even, we weren't even born when Elvis was born. Shout we don't even know. Grandma. Shout out to Elvis. Grandma. You hear me? Billboard chart back to back to back to back to back. I'm talking about if an award exists, if it even exists. If they got a music <laughs> award out there, I don't care if it's in London, America, I don't care where it's at. This man got one. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about the legendary... Lil Wayne. Wayne, what's up, Wayne? I'm good, man. I appreciate that, man. I, yeah, man, I'm sorry, man. I got to do that. I, I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm low-key fanned out. Nah, so I appreciate that, To man. be in front of you, I got to give it all to you, man. That's and all I, flowers. That's well love. deserved, love. for sure. Flowers. Tunchi in the motherfucking building. Build we got Tunchi on a red couch, though, with it. You know what I'm love, saying? Man, I woke up. I woke up. Uh, I woke up about 11. I had to hurry up and jump off the couch and jump into the spring. And I fucking, I bought my, I told my homie to grab my jewelry box. He grabbed a jerk and I fucking forgot. He, I ain't telling him to grab the one with the 400 chain, man. That's my bad. Oh, no, it's oh, love. Man, it's nice, I want you to see how I had iced out my chain. You know, you that's oh. another thing. Niggas just be giving you a piece and shit. You gave me a piece with the chain. Oh, yeah. I went and iced it out. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah we got to, you got to, yeah, you, oh, yeah. you might have to double back and bring that back. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. when I got no whip. I'm like, fuck, I ain't bring that one. And oh, we yeah. double back and went back to the crib for the blunts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, so, man. Speaking of the 400 piece, Hey man, let the folks know what you got on. Let them know what the fuck you got on, man. Oh, I don't do nothing but fit like a little lightweight Balenciaga. You know what I mean? I was on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> lightweight Balenciaga, I was just on the couch. Yeah, man. I wear pajamas <laughs> and shit on the couch. Lightweight. <laughs> lightweight. This is it. That's what I'm saying. Shit, you, you know. The, you know, he got the Balenciaga pajamas. Yeah, you, take them, you, you throw the shoes on and you got the socks that you walk around in. That's the Balenciagas too. They match up. You feel oh, Hello. 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 Balenciaga socks. Hey, Chisel, what you got on, YG? Oh, I got, you know what I'm saying? I got the Chucks on, the low top Chucks, black Calvin Klein socks. These like some. These some Acme Studio um, mm -hmm. little slack pants. See, they don't know about Acme Studio. Yeah. 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 So blazer top. You know what Shit I'm that saying? look like nothing but a lot of it. Yeah, you know what I'm it saying? Like a lot of <laughs> Shit that You know what I'm saying? I got the red paisley tied on my head, trying something new out. You know what I'm saying? A little I was trying to figure out how to start wearing a blade because I, I do the sports show every Friday. Undisputed. Yeah. Shout out to her, all my homies on Undisputed. I love y'all. It's my family. Yeah, that. And my, and my mama make me wear a tie. And she, you know, every time I would tie every episode, but I'm just trying to figure out different looks, and I, I can't go on there without a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't go blazer uh, no teeth? Because I've been trying to figure out how to wear. I ain't wear a blazer yet, so I've been figuring that. But I also saw uh, my man Mike Wilbon today rock the blazer with the hoodie. So I thought that was a cool look. Then I saw uh, somebody rock the blazer with just a turtleneck and uh, without a tie and stuff. So I figured that might be one way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get you yeah. some looks, gonna look yeah. more professional and shit. Yeah, you know, you gonna pull it up. off. You gonna she, pull it off. She hit me up like, I watched that show. You told me to watch it, I watched that show. <laughs> You up there with all them men up there looking professional. You up there looking like you about to go do some damn concert. You better put a tie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to hey, listen to that one. I can honestly say, this the healthiest I've seen you, Wayne. Like, in these past few months, I'm like, damn, Wayne really turned a new leaf. Like, he eating salads and shit. Like, <laughs> like explain to me, like, like your health journey, like the transition to switch things over to get a little more healthier. Oh, no, I, don't, I ain't switched nothing over. But I, um... You know, I've never, I don't want to say never, that's how long it's been. I tell everybody all the time, they always ask me, uh, you know, like, what's your workout regimen? Or what do you do? Or what do you do? Mm -hmm. Females may ask me, what do you do? What do you, what do you use on your skin? Females may ask me, what do you, what do you, what are you eating? Or what are you not eating? Or what? And then 
the homies, man, it's my run to Shady, um, Shady um, McCoy. Yeah. You know, he, what's your, what's your workout regimen? I'm like, bro, I don't work out. Don't know how to do no push-ups, none of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, little, little, none of that. I, mean, I ain't lifting no weights. Not, it's been, I have a personal chef. They not making nothing healthy. I don't eat healthy. On, I don't have a certain day where I only eat the, none of that. I just make sure that I eat, I eat my chef's food every single day. <laughs> so what that mean is I haven't had a McDonald's fry or fast food, a chicken nugget or a none of that for at least over 15 years. And so that right there is simp simply that right there is healthy. And that's my, I don't have a regimen. So, and also my, my, they make sure that vegetables are in, included in every meal, mm -hmm. no matter what, no matter what I choose to eat, every, the vegetables don't be included in it. Now my chef, you know what I mean? He like to eat. So, you know, when I, when I say vegetables, it's going to be like, Asparagus, but wrapped in bacon. <laughs> you remix, you remixing all the veggies, <laughs> but you know you still eating healthy. You know you ain't eating, you ain't eating some fries or some some extra greasy. And, and this is every day. Every day. This is every day for, and I'm very procedure like. So if I like it, I love it. It's gonna it's gonna take something to stop me. You know what I mean? So I've been doing that for the. I've been doing that since the day I moved out. Since the day I moved out of New Orleans and moved to Miami, I think I was 19 years old. I'm 41 now. I've been that's doing crazy. that ever since. Yeah, that's a hey, you niggas got to get y'all money up, nigga. <laughs> nigga, chef on deck 15 years, nigga. Stop 30 playing, plus, nigga. 30 pack. 15 Look plus. Me, 30 pack. Yeah. Ain't like, stunting though. My mom a chef, so I had to get one. That was one thing <laughs> she wanted me to do. She was, she's a chef. She's like, you're going to leave from the city. You're going to leave. You need a chef. So therefore, you eat right. I understand. Mm -hmm. So like the kids, the, like your kids, they never had no chicken nugget or nothing like nah, that. They do what they do. They oh, they eat, had the chicken nugget. Yeah, they, eat, they eat how they eat. Even with, even when she, you know, even when they with me, chef got to before he before they make my my food, they might got to go go to Chick Fil A. Chick, <laughs> so yeah, cop, the cop, kids, but right. the kids won't. And then, yeah, that's how they rock. Oh, they just cook exactly whatever the kids ask for. They make it themselves and try to make it as as uh as close as have it tasting to in the stores as close as it can. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. That's big. The kids always end up liking their version better. Yeah, the kids, hey, my kids, bro, I be trying to have them on their healthy shit, and that shit do not work. Like, <laughs> nigga, they want bullshit. My, all my son Cam from out here in LA, he mm. on all that, though. Yeah. He eat healthy on his own. Oh, yeah. But these kids are so aware, they different. Yeah, it's they different. They different. way different they than different. this. They it's way different. different. I just so. had them down for Thanksgiving. My, little, my youngest son had his homies with him. One of, they went to the mall. One of the homies broke away from the pack. Mm -hmm. They couldn't find them. They like wait. They, so when they find them, he had went to a Whole Food store. Real rap, <laughs> real. yeah, yeah real right. rap. He mm -hmm. broke off from them to go to a Whole Food store to get food that he got to eat that he be eating when he at home, which is mm -hmm. healthy. And so they were, you know, they joking on, oh, you, you gonna eat it? I was like, man, these kids are aware as hell. Who the hell told him to go? Cause he didn't broke. I just go get some healthy food. <laughs> no, that's dope though. <laughs> some of the kids. I done broke off. You the came yeah. found me. I was outside selling packs. What? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking? Hey, when you been a daddy your whole life? Yeah. You hear me? Like, it's like a New Orleans thing almost. I think. <laughs> Or like a Watson and Compton thing to just be like 14 and pop one out, 15 and pop one out. So like, what was that moment where it was like, damn, I'm, I'm really somebody, like somebody daddy. You know, like, I'm really somebody daddy. The best part about it was not having not having one. You know what I mean? So, you know, you, uh, having, you know, of course, having somebody that it ain't been who, mm -hmm. how they're supposed to be. So it teaches you, you they're laying the game plan out for you. They showing you everything not to do. <laughs> you know I mean? They show you all the ways not to be. You know what I mean? It's easy. You know how to be. How should I be a father? Let's do everything that he does not do. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. yeah, it's so easy. So simple. It's just like that. And also, shot my mom was my dad as well. So just loved them the way she loved me. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I feel like there's. That there ain't no right way to be a parent at all, but it's for sure a wrong way. Yeah, One definitely. thousand percent. Definitely, I agree with that. I definitely like, agree with that. And then like having a daughter, and then she becoming a young woman and yes. growing up, and you know having a father that's in the game. Like, and then when I'm saying in the game, I want to be sure that I'm saying like at the top of the game, mm -hmm. and you somebody, you know, got a daughter. Mm -hmm. Did that like change your whole view on like how to treat women, how for to sure. be, you know like how to be you know with women having a daughter. The best part about that was I never, you know, I, I was always, 
I grew up the, the only child. My little brother, shout out Samaj. My mom had him late, so I grew up for a long time. I was the only child. So it, it was always just me and my mom. So I always knew how to treat a woman. With yeah. that said, so that was way before I even had my daughter. So you always also remember I was in a group, the Hot Boys. I mean, I'm sure I knew that I was surrounded by a bunch of niggas who about to bitch and bitches and hoes and you hoes <laughs> sucking my dick into the. Not that I ain't about to do it, with, but I always knew I'm gonna do it a little different because I because I know my mom was gonna ask me something about what the hell you just meant by this, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have to explain it. <laughs> Stuff like hey, yeah, they not gonna have to do. They don't have to go home and explain to their mamas what yeah. the hell they talking about. So. With that said, this was before I even had a daughter, which she, which is my first child. I mean, I was already approaching that lane different. You know what I mean? You, I already had, basically I was the quote unquote, the lover boy of the group or whatever. So I was already approaching that. So once I had my daughter, it was of course, and you know I mean, my respect level. And also now I got a reason, meaning I don't, you don't have to question why am I being this way? You already, oh, he has a daughter. Yeah. yeah. It's prize pick time. Yeah, it's prize pick time. It's time to let all that barbershop talk about sports go to the next level by making daily projections on any NBA or NFL game. Prize Picks is a skill-based fantasy game where all you have to do is just select more or less on the players that you love to watch. If you really think you're a hooper like my boy YG think he is. Mm. Oh. But you're really just sitting at home on the couch? Use Prize Picks. You can get an entry in like 60 seconds. All you gotta do is go over to prizepicks.com, use the promo code 400, and they will literally match you up to $100 on your first deposit. That means if you put 50, they're giving you 50. If you put 100, they're giving you 100. It's really that easy. All you gotta do is go over to prizepicks.com or download the Prize Picks app and make sure you use promo code 400. Let them know we sent you. YG, how you feel about having a daughter, man? Because I always I like to bring it up with you because I feel like your, your life changed a whole lot too. Of having like daughters, you got two daughters, by the okay. way, beautiful daughters. Like, how did that like trans could change your whole view of like view of things? Yeah, bought more guns. <laughs> 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 Definitely. <laughs> hey, but no, like like like, um, it was crazy because when I had my daughter, like I got shot like three weeks later from having my daughter. And my daughter was at the, she was supposed to be at the, um, like at the studio house. Her, me and her mama had like just got into it, so they had left on some random shit. But my daughter was supposed to be there. Then boom, a whole little shootout happened. And then I'm a whole little shootout. Yeah, it man, was a whole like that ain't nothing. That just shit happened. Yeah. <laughs> it was a shootout. And then I'm like, damn, bro, like my daughter was supposed to be here. Ain't no telling where, like where she would have been at. You know what I'm saying? So. Like when that shit happened, bro, you know what I'm saying? That shit like immediately started. Like my whole program just started. Sometimes and taking yeah, events. Yeah, bro, yeah. I started moving like like it was a group of niggas at the house. I ain't even know how these niggas. Like niggas just running in out the studio. You know what I'm saying? The homies having niggas over. I'm like, nah, all that's over with. We changing all that. You know what I'm saying? Homies saying? having niggas. The homies got homies. Yeah, the over, homies nigga. got yeah. homies and shit. Yeah, sometimes you need nigga, shit I'm to walk, happen though. I'm walking down the stairs oh, like, bro, event. who is you? Nigga, so um, yeah though, like you said, like you know what I'm saying, that situation just like gave me like perspective, and then just like you know what I'm saying, the daughter thing is is I wanted a son, you know what I'm saying? And when they told me I was having a daughter, I was mad for like for like a month. <laughs> I was hot, bro, cause um, you know I was like a ratchet ass. <laughs> no, not like that. Shit. Nigga was just burnt. So like I'm like I need me a son, cause you know what I'm saying I know how I be outside. God was like. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, you see, so I said, this daughter and shit. I'm like, damn, dog. Like, I was sad as a motherfucker. But then, you know what I'm saying? I, I have my daughter, and I'm like, damn, she really, like, you know what I'm saying? She helping me, like, become a better person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, I needed that. The because, best blessing ever. I yeah, swear. the best blessing ever. Because, like, how I was moving, bro, nigga was probably crash out, you know? Yeah, I feel like having a daughter did something to me, like, it opened me up to be like, Damn, I really gotta be. Mm -hmm. I gotta be. Gotta watch it. That, my gotta daughter watch watching it. me, and yeah, then she. This, yeah. I am the first thing she gonna mirror and go. This yeah. how a man's supposed to be in my yeah. life. But then when it come to your sons, like I know you still trying to get you one. I know I'm. I, I know I'm working on one, it. I'm like, working on it. How is it like? The, what's the difference, Wayne, like raising a daughter and then raising sons? Oh, you already know it's a, it's a um, 
you know, with your daughter, you hands on. You're trying to be hands on on everything that you can be hands on. You know what I mean? You're, of course, you're trying to overprotect in every situation. It's your daughter, even as a even even as a young woman, you're still trying to be uh, whoever, what, what, whatever. You already know, that's just how it go. With your sons, you know, from day one, you already trying to let them do things on their own, trying to figure out what he could do on his own. Let me see you do this on his on your own. Let me see you so there's a difference. It's already like, you know, with your daughter, you're uh, you gonna hand hold your hand through life mm -hmm. the whole way. With your son, I'm a I wanna stand behind you and watch you and watch you leave me, you know. That type of thing. So it's a different approach. Yeah. Gotta teach your son how to be a leader because one day how to be he carrying the yeah. last name ultimately, like your daughter gonna get married in. I just teach him how to be she, the, Yeah, be, she gonna the take proper, the last name. Proper him. Cause exactly. you know, it's not teaching him how to be a man. It's teaching him how to be the best him he can be. You know what I mean? Plain and simple. I you figure out that. what he is and how he is, and you figure out what, you know what I mean, the best qualities of of who it, I mean that's inside of him and you you highlight those and you hopefully hope you know what I mean, hopefully he follow those as well. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, and I see that like you speak big highly of your mom like being like, that's your dog. You feel yeah. me? That's your dog. When I hear that, I'm like, that's super dope because like I feel like moms sometimes they get overworked, mm -hmm. especially with a boy. You know, we reckless. Yes. We doing the most and the most. Like yeah. with the respect you have for your mom, I wanna know like, and then having, you know, multiple kids and stuff like that, like the baby mamas, multiple baby mamas, like mm -hmm. how do you fall in line with that to have that same respect that you have for your mom that you got for like the kids' mom? And them for the and also for them to have the same respect back for me too, because that's Straight a difference. Job. You already, you already, you already <laughs> know. I mean, it's all about the uh, it's all about the the human being that you are. You know what I mean? Plain and simple, it's all about the individual that you actually are. That's that's what that that's that's what that goes. That's the card that that that's played. Plain and simple, they, if you're a bad person, <laughs> you're a bad person, you know what I mean? Right. And so moms ain't raised me to be that way. So I, like I told you, from before my, before I had a daughter, I was raised to respect women a different way just because of my mom. I was raised by my mom and my grandmother. You know what I mean? My, my grandmother, Mercy. So I got a name tatted on me, all of my, so that's just what it is. I was raised by women, so I treat women totally different. You know what I mean? Also, you know, any woman that I come across that becomes we become a pair, we become an item or whatever, whatever. You go do an interview with that woman and I, I'm proud to put nine times out of 10, I, she won't have a bad thing to say about me, but we're not together. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, mean? I never heard nothing bad yeah. in, in, in a space make, like that. I make sure it's that way because of the person who I am. So that's where the, mm -hmm. that's where the relationship with the mothers of my children come in. And also to, I still think I, every day they're the most important factors of my, the, I mean, I, my life wouldn't be a life without them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, it's still, my world still revolve around my kids and my mother, and that's just how it goes. You know how we talk about, like, real niggas, niggas be talking about real nigga shit? It ain't until you hear somebody word it, yeah. and then you go, that's, see, that's that real nigga shit. You yeah. feel me? Um, I'm a Packers fan. I'm going to be straight up with you. Okay. I'm a Packers fan. Yeah. And um, I remember the year they won the Super Bowl. I wasn't a Packers fan the year they won the Super Bowl, and you made green and yellow, right? My uncle, um, he went to jail. He did a 10-year bid. He got out. The year they was winning the Super Bowl, right? Okay. Real street nigga. Got right out money out the gate. You hear me? Yeah. It's real street nigga. Yeah. Um, CDs was a big thing at the time. Fuck he yeah, had green was. and yellow. Yeah. He called me and said, nephew, I want you to put green and yellow on CD five times. I'm from <laughs> 105th Street. I want no other song on there. We winning the Super Bowl today. <laughs> and they won the Super Bowl, right? <laughs> I was like, God. Damn it, maybe this nigga owned or something. <laughs> May he rest in peace, you feel me saying? He, he, rest in peace. And that's what made me a Packer fan. Okay. My homies passed in the way. I took on all eight bets, because they gambling ass niggas, regular niggas, they gambling ass niggas. So every Sunday I'm taking on their bets, and eventually I grew to become a Packer fan. <laughs> you feel me saying? That's what made me a Packer fan. I want to say this to you while I get to sit across from Wayne. Yeah. Nigga, stop running out with the Packers. When you run out with the Packers, we lose. I know this nigga crap. I, I ran out the Packers one time. I bro. got it on my Twitter on the feed. You ran it out, but God it damn. One, I ran out with it one time, bro. The season is flipped back, though. We looking good now. I think we look good, but how do you feel about the Packers transitioning from, you know, and on to the Jordan Love era. era? Do you feel like we got another one? All right. I do. I've, I've been telling people since day one. Everybody be like, you know, like, y'all really, and this way before he even started playing it, y'all really like Jordan Love. Y'all really serious about Jordan Love. Man, I talked to Coach. Man, Coach, they love him. They love him. Like, you know, like, Coach love him. Coach look at him like his own. 
Right. Matt, this, Matt come from under that umbrella. You know Matt. Come yeah, from Matt looking umbrella. at him like he look at Jordan like this is my project right here. Aaron was our Aaron was the project. Mm-hmm. You already know that. Got none of you know you 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 Aaron, but you feel like Jordan is his that's, that's his project, and I, they love him. The whole staff love him. Everybody, the team, the players, everybody with him. So I believe that what's happening right now is not a surprise to them the way it's a surprise to the world. I get the, <laughs> I, like it's amazing waking up sometimes and seeing you on Undisputed, like like outside of Skip Bayless, like. The relationship that you created there, you got the theme song back to back. They give you the theme song back to back. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm 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 heavy in the sports. How does it feel now they putting you up there and going, Wayne, give us your point of view? Oh man, I've been waiting for that. You know, <laughs> me and Skip cool as hell. Like, like we're cool, cool. We talk every almost every day, almost every night. You know what I mean? He's he takes sports so serious. Like totally. I mean, I guess the way you I mean, I guess the way me and this man would take how we would how you look at it, we would take music. That's how he takes sports. And it's you sometimes you think like, you know, to us, the music coming from here, so that's why we we do it all day 24-7. And it's so serious to us. We die behind it, we cry behind it. It's a baby. You, you be is exactly, that you be like, I you know how much I love sports. You'd be like, but damn, that's how he feel about sports, if not more. You know what I mean? So just to know that, you know what I mean? When you see him, you find out, you get to know him, and you know, like, that's real. He really loves sports like this. And so, man, we indulge in conversations, and, of course, they turn into life conversations. You know, that that guy got a bunch of wisdom. He could just pour into me about life. You know, he, he on mm-hmm. TV every day talking about sports. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But you, this guy, you sit down, you know what I mean? Imagine if those, he was talking to him. We don't know what he feel about life. I do. You know what I mean? So that right there, that's the that's the relationship. But as far as how I feel to be on every, I mean, on every Friday or whatever the theme song, like, I thank God every day for that, first of all. And psh, the, you already know, the te- every television in the house what? on is on there every morning. That's what? lit. What? And then if we're in the <laughs> studio working, which I usually am, the TV going to be on there if I'm with somebody that don't, that's, that's their first time being with me. You know, young female ain't never been around me or something. You know, throw that teeth, throw it on. Throw that on, Don't even say nothing. You know, just come on. They be like, oh, baby, you on TV? Flex. What what this is? Oh, your video just came up. Oh no, that's a little show. Like, <laughs> and it's crazy seeing it come from. It's I'm happy, to this for real, I'm happy to see it for him too because I mean, like, even back mixtape days, you got sports in mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. all the shout outs to Stuart Scott mm-hmm. made. You know, yeah. Stuart. Like, I was like, damn, Wayne, they gave Wayne a seat. Uh, Amazing. That's all skip though, man. That's all skip. And I'm looking at it like oh, when I first seen you on that Wayne, first thing I thought was like, ooh, Wayne finna be in the Super Bowl, y'all. We finna get a Wayne halftime show. Like Wayne, right, what right. you do the Super Bowl? Right. <laughs> Duh, nigga. I want I gotta ask. You gotta I'm just it's a question, Wayne. I know I know the answer, but I gotta ask you. Of course, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. Um I think it's in 2025 or something like he's that. He's doing not, it. I'm not sure. Not, I'm not, I'm Wayne, not sure. come on, man. Say I'm it, Wayne. Sure you gotta say no, it, no, Wayne. I don't. They know. I, I can. I will not lie to you. I am not have not got a call. Hey, Jay. <laughs> like but I'm that. on. I'm camera so, folk, Jay. But we all praying. You know, we praying. We keeping our fingers crossed. I'm working hard. I'm gonna make sure this next album and everything I do is killer. So I'm gonna make it very hard for them to. I want to just make it hard for them not to not to pick at the boy. It. And I thank God for the fact that how we started this interview off with 30 years of work. So therefore, when they look at stuff, they be looking at that. They be looking mm-hmm. like, well, what can they come out and do it? A little hot single or something like, nah, man, dude, come out here and just he come. You know how we did the how they how the last one they did the John the. the you got 50, you had the, the you know what I mean? You had the lineage. Yeah, I could do it. I'm, I was like, nah, I could be like Riri. You know, I, mean, I could be like, Riri, Riri came out there and just went from year to year to year to year to year. You to go, year. no, see, Wayne, it's different. You can go decade to decade. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, though. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, now this year, I think they got Usher. They got Usher doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, what's man. Three Usher song, what's three songs you want Usher to do? Because we need to make sure that Usher do something for us. What's three songs, if you can pick, for Usher to do? Man, Usher has he have to do, and it's not not because I got the funny story about it, but he have to do he have to do. It's seven o'clock on a dot. I'm in my drop top, losing the sea. Yeah, and he gotta do what? Would, he gotta what? have a whole crowd. He gotta stop the song and have a whole crowd say U S H E R R A. Usher, man. I had, I was at the Super Bowl halftime show. I made the whole crowd say my name. Stop playing. Yeah, yeah. Stop playing. And they spelt it. They like spelt that. it. Stop playing. <laughs> hey, that's one out of three. Give me two more. You feel me? That's one out of three. Give me Hold two on. more. Uh, yeah. What's the what's that real slow, what's that slow slow one? You think you're gonna go slow slow for Super Bowl? 
Yeah. He gonna do like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he gotta do the yeah, yeah. yeah you think Luda, 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 Luda on there? You know it's commercial. Luda, Luda, Luda on there, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They gotta yeah, bring yeah. Luda out too. Yeah, that, he gotta Luda bring Luda, Luda out. Yeah, he gonna do that. And what else? Baby tonight, DJ oh, yeah, he gonna got us. He gonna do that What's for that? sure. Super Bowl, some pop. It's pop like, shit. It's I want to hear confessions. Yeah, Usher, if I can make a request, I want to hear want, confessions. Confessions, yeah. yeah. Confessions. I want to hear confessions yeah. first. So I think we got our top three. We got. I think that's the slow one I was talking about. If it's about me, me? what I want to hear, I want to hear Superstar. Ooh, What's that? He on? ain't gonna give a superstar. That's on yeah, Confessions album. Like we like playing, album heads. Playing we player like, shit. We like we like album. He gonna junkies. have some time up there now. I, we like album junkie, so like you got some time up there. You hello, gotta do some. He, yeah. he, he fit the bill. He yeah. definitely and fit also the bill. because I, I, was, I was talking earlier um, on my podcast to uh, to Lil T Y to Lil Tiger, Yo, and he man. was telling me how he saw a Usher Vegas show. That's it. That oh, shit's amazing. I haven't seen it yet. He was yeah. like, so that's why he was like, this ain't gonna, this gonna be light work for him. I gotta go again now yeah. that I know people and stuff because I had some seats that went to seats. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to see the my girl. I don't mind seeing her. <laughs> See her team. This is a moment for her. So I ain't had a seat that was that pretty good, that that good when I did go, but I would definitely go back now that I know some people in the right places. You understand hey, what I'm yeah. saying? Now but, I seen this show in uh I ain't been to the Vegas one, but um I seen this shit in Paris and shit. I went to a shit. I was like, mm. what the fuck? This shit is crazy. That boy be dancing. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. nigga was up there doing some it's shit. Very, it's very few artists that people dream to see in um, a concert setting. And Wayne, I don't think you know that you 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 one of those people that people nah. now that they got money, you know, like we was kids when you came out. Yeah. So it's like we ain't had money. Our mama name was like, nope, <laughs> get a poster, put it on the wall. You can't really go. You can't really go. You know, you can't really go and actually do it. So like when okay. we talk about our go to like the nineties, it's like it's it's really hard not to put you in there. Appreciate that. Right. When I put you in there, Wayne, I'm gonna be honest with you, my and I'm from the West Coast. Yeah. And when y'all hear this, y'all don't y'all don't kill me. But I got Wayne and I got Juvie in my top five. Okay. Because I feel like Juvie, one of them guys too, that yeah, he you know he'll get the notoriety. Yeah. And I'm I'm saying that to roll into the question to be like, man, I wore a soldier rag <laughs> and Reebok, and I'm from Watts, California, man. Yeah. With everybody being free and the time is what it is. Like I said, everybody got their own money now. Mm -hmm. We got money. We ain't got to ask our mama no yeah. more. Are you open to being like on tour, like a hot boy tour? I think we spoke about it a few times, but you know they have situations like BG just getting out, just coming home. So you got to figure out can he, he got to work it out. Can he, can he tour? Travel, right, can yeah. he travel? You know what I mean? Yeah. Things like that. You know, Juvie ready, but and Turk ready, but it's really be, we got to see if Jeezy could move around and all that like that. So that's the only piece. Yeah. Because I, I, I when I when I get to see it now, because I say now it's my money now. Yeah, because everybody got their own thing, like you said. Everybody got their own record right. label, their own situation. Nobody ain't tied down to nothing. So when we ask everybody, they're like, yeah, we jump on whenever. Just we got to make sure we got to get Jeezy right. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I I pray that it all happens and comes together because like it's a dream of mine to see you on stage. Oh hell yeah! And be in the crowd and be like, uh, you know, just singing yeah. everything that I know that you guys exist. I gotta say this too. Like when you, when you get to talking about basketball too, you kind of make you kind of make me a little mad because I be feeling like sometimes you be saying LeBron over MJ and then MJ. I ain't never said that. Okay, now tell me how you feel. Is it LeBron I or MJ? That. Then what's your what's your goat basketball player? I don't think that you. I looked at look at it like it's so. I think when we do that, I think we being so. For lack of better terms, I think we've been so unintelligent when we do that. You know, we say we go. Who's better, LeBron? Man, they don't even play the same position. Michael Jordan has never in his life been a point guard. You know what I mean? Like, so that's why I was like, why are we, we not, I like, you know, we we love when we, because when we compare anybody else, we compare them the right way. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? We uh, compare guard, them. Guard, we compare, four, yeah, four. we compare, if you're a wide receiver, we gonna, you ain't ran, you got to moss somebody, if you ain't. And yeah. so, when we, so when we, I'll be like, why are we, because so we're going to compare LeBron, compare him to, to Magic Johnson. You know, yeah, like compare him to Magic and Magic. I, yeah, I think that's more of a comparable. Yeah, thing. Yeah, Magic was the point that Magic could play all those other positions just like he Brian. won a five. He put well, he ran a five in the playoffs. Yeah, you know I mean, just like yeah, exactly. Like that. And so that's what I'm saying. So when it comes to, and then you know, and because then after that, when you when you when you consider those facts that they don't play the same position, so now okay, so now that means so now you just got to start considering things. Now if we start considering stuff, man, the, the things that this man LeBron does off the court. Yeah, facts. 
Yeah, you know, you got, no, you got a goat, YG. There's no no comparison. You got a goat like basketball, MJ, LeBron type shit. I came into the world, Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan. That's how I was born. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all I know. You know what I'm saying? You talking about basketball though? Basketball. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But um, like what bro was saying is a fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, but like how I look at it, it's like for Jordan Air, Jordan the goat. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? When he was hooping, yeah, him, he got it. You know what I'm saying? LeBron Air, LeBron got it. You feel me? So I be doing my shit off the air, you know what I'm saying, when yeah. they was hooping. Got you know what I'm saying? Yeah, straight job. Yeah. I think everything is generational. Even when we do top five rappers and yeah. we do top, it's generational. I didn't get to see Mike, but I seen what LeBron did. I, matter of fact, I seen what Kobe did. That, now, that's what I was going to say. I so, seen you know, what Kobe did. I went to game. I was going to say, when Kobe you did. said me, I was going to say, you must say it, because every time I answer that did. question, I, I say Kobe. I, yeah. and Kobe, actually, I go, my number my number two at the mic is Kobe. I don't got yeah, mine, mine, is, mine is, too. is Kobe. That's why I was like, you must have never heard me. And then, no, I, no for <laughs> one thing about you, you got a lot of Kobe songs. Oh, my God. I feel like you, you, you. It's it's really hard to interview you because you like I said, Kobe it's, songs. it's just decade after decade Kobe after songs, decade after Kobe, decade of just me and Kobe working even Brian, like and mentioning every sports aspect like aspect of thing like do you ever like I don't think enough people interview and speak on the fact that you have like a sports agency like yeah. well you got people sign who ain't just a bunch of weak ass motherfuckers out there uh, no you got people sign we help like, out we help out can you elaborate on like what it's like being the owner of a sports agency man. I always was a dream, first of all, just to put my, have my hands involved in sports for real, you know, not just not just cool with a team, or affiliated with a team. So once I had the opportunity to to start an agent, like start an agency, I was like, I know I thought I was gonna be an agent, you know, I was like, I thought I was like, now I'm trying to be an agent. It's like now you actually have the opportunity to start an agent. You won't have time to be an agent. Mm. And like you can start an agency, or you can have an agency full of agents, and they can have the players that you. And they can go out and get different type of players in different sports and different. So when it was um, bought to me like that, I was like, let's do it. Let's go for it. And psh, it's been some years now. I'm not sure how long um, we, we, I've had. It's been, over, I think, over five years now. But We can just keep it straight drop. We're going to talk about it. We ain't pocket watching over here, but a multi-million dollar yeah, contract signed under Young Money. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And I seen you on the sideline of Drew League. Like, I, like, who introduced you to the Drew League? Because that's like some what? That's like. That's Cam, man. My son Cam. He wanted to go to the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. He know what's going on. He know he all about it. Yeah. Cam locked in like that? Very. I see <laughs> you, you. You just walking around with stats in your head, man. You like computers. Yeah. Cam the same way? Right, Cam is. He, he is the computer. Yeah. Cam yeah. hooping and everything. You got him in sports. Cam hoop actually. Uh, tryouts was. Yesterday, I want to say trials were yesterday. He made the team. Oh, that's, that's dope, dope man. Yeah. That's shout out dope. Cam. Hey, yeah. shout out to Cam. Yeah. Hoop hey, it what up. What if one of your sons want to rap? How you feel about that? My youngest son rap, Meatball. Yeah. Is he nice? Yeah, he very nice. But I'm talking about like he, he, mm. he nice. Because you he know what nice. He gotta be nice. Nah, he nice. He nice. <laughs> he's the he's my youngest son. And I don't write nothing for him. Yeah, yeah. All of them rap though. All of them rap, but he he's the one who. You know, my oldest son, he's athletic as well. Mm -hmm. Cam, basketball, athletic as well. Meatball, he don't play, he ain't playing. He know how to do all that, but it's all about music. They said oh, I couldn't play basketball, I wasn't tall. They yeah, he not tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one of your lines. Wayne, that's another thing too. You got so many songs, people be like trying to tell you like, this is more, Wayne, you be yeah, like, Yeah, I don't mean oh, no, what you talking yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the fuck you're yeah. talking about. But I think that I, it's so much. It's so hard to really go into that space with the music, and then you start transferring over into skating. Mm -hmm. I don't think you know this, but when when YG first started, I know, you probably know he skate. I don't yeah, know I if do. You know YG yeah, skate. I, I don't do. really know. But at the beginning of YG's career, centered around what I would call personally a label that he had. It was centered around skateboarding. Mm. It was centered around skateboarding. What? So most of the most of the people that <laughs> he, he had like, around, if if they was around, they oh, skate. motherfucking skate. You hear yeah. me? That's one thing our whole team of people can do. Nah, is skateboard. When he came to the park in uh, Miami, when we shot something in Miami, he uh, I saw him. I was I was sitting. I was watching because he came. I was he gave me a deck. He had his own decks, the four hundred deck. And I'm looking, and he starts setting one up. <laughs> and I'm like, he's setting that motherfucker up himself. Cause you know that part right there alone, that's like That's yeah, enough. I like a motherfucker who don't really smoke. <laughs> yeah, I ain't talking about trying to roll the fuck out of me. He like, 
You know what you're doing? But I'm just watching him from far. He pulled me, put that motherfucker together real quick, and just jumped right on that bitch and did a kickflip. I don't know how to kickflip. I've been skating for over 10 years. You do a lot of vert <laughs> skate, though. That's what I learned about you. You're yeah, a vert skate. Yeah, you're a vert skate. Yeah. So I don't expect you to do kickflips. Yeah, yeah but I, you know, I, I do a lot. I mean, shit, I, it's whatever. I got, I'm, I'm vert park, whatever, because I got the, I, I'm on park. So mm -hmm. I made sure that they put all that shit in there. But I still, I just, you already know. He, he a skater. He already know. You know, it take a long time to, Hell to, yeah. to learn how to kick. You got to really do. And I mean, put your mind to it. And of course, I've came close and all that type. I got my man Tony Hawk right now trying to trying to be. He want to. He want me to be on. I think he got like a podcast show or something like that. He want me to do my first kickflip on that show. Oh, that's far. I like Tony. Who told you? You know that shit what? hard. <laughs> you know, I can say that's like, the first interview. Know, no, that's the first do it that interview. Day. <laughs> Wayne, that's the first interview while I was looking at you and you was like, God damn, this Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like I seen you in a lot of interviews. Yeah, you got interviewed yeah. by a lot of people, but I can tell in your face that yeah. you're passionate about skating. Fuck yeah. Because you was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. Tony Hawk. Yeah. Nigga, the fuck? Like, he hit me oh up recently God. talking about the kickflip. I was like, shit, let me start practicing, man. man hey, you know what I can't do? do it. What? I can't, I can't drop in no. Yeah, you told me. No you was bowl. like, I drop in and shit. Yeah. I can't do that shit. Nigga, I told that shit is crazy. A few people tried that around me, bro. It's yeah, a different can't go well. do that shit. and just straight up is just a different just world. It didn't go well for some people. Outside of, like, between you and YG, well, well for who me. would you consider to be the better um, skater between you and YG? <laughs> I don't think there is no, you know, in skating, there ain't no, because it's so. It's, it's so much shit. It's, it's, in the, it's so individual. Your style is your mm -hmm. style. So there's no, um, I don't think that's a better. That's why when it, when they do contests, they don't, they just give you time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, time to go do what you do. And the next person do what they do. If you fail off yours and that person completed this, that person usually get the, I mean, there's no such, that's why there's no, no, he was better than that. Now they don't really have that. That is, that's yeah. true right there. I fuck and with I'm that rusty. Like that. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. I'm rusty. I got to get out there and, and and get I mean, some you know, runs. You know why I said the style's different. He kick flipping, I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you dropping in, but you drop you dropping in vert. I think a lot of people they look at that like oh, that's just dropping in vert. No, oh, nigga, have yeah. you ever? I watch, yeah, have well, you I say, ever dropped in? I just said they come to my parks. In? They come to those parks. I know he know them. They come to them parks and get on top. Hey, so how you just? You just stand right, you just drop, just go ahead. Mm -hmm. It ain't stand. that. Don't do it, bro. Don't. Face plant. When you go in, when you go in, when you go into that mode and you into skating, I think a lot of times we get confused in between like urban apparel and streetwear. Mm -hmm. I personally believe that streetwear is like skate clothes. Okay. And urban apparel is like FUBU, okay. shit like that. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, can you elaborate on like the style of dressing that comes with skating. Again, individual, you know, they got the they got the uh, the stereotypical skate wear. I mean, skate skater look or whatever that people may think that you know. Of course, the Vans or the you got the you got the baggy look, but now skate is all individual. It's all you know what I mean because you got to be comfortable. And so whatever that person wearing is what is what he or she is comfortable skating and actually it ain't about really I mean they gonna fit their style, they're gonna fit their swag and that they're gonna fit it in that way, but other than that, it's hard to skate uncomfortable. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've tried. I've tried to skate in like dope shoes and all this yeah, and all that. Nah, it ain't gonna work. Skinnies and all this. But then I see some people do skating that, but that's cause they can. That's they so it's all individual. Wayne, do you do you know like the influence you had on the West Coast? Nah. Hey, when you 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 when you came like like the era like quarter two mm. mixtape quarter three you know what I'm saying you was the face of the bloods the pop <laughs> love love my nigga straight you know drop straight like <laughs> straight drop talk it talk that talk shit talk about nigga it was nothing bigger nigga you know what I'm saying love. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. You influenced a lot of the youth, you know what I'm saying? Around that, that part, time, that like, part. Yeah, that part like, I'm pretty aware. You know what I'm saying? That red flag. Yeah. Love. Yeah, and, and see me, I'm I'm on the other side of things, but I'm still yeah, he, influenced by Wayne. He from Love. the other side, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm from he the other side of things. So I'm telling you like Hey Stevie, I got you sitting on a red couch though, bro. How I feel about that? Yeah, how you feel about that? You know that, I'm a confident though? keyway, man. Come on, man. You <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Me. I'm a confident keyway. <laughs> but I, like even a, then I'm gonna still tell like you like Ohio and uh, Michigan State. <laughs> Stay for that other school up north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wayne, you had a big influence on the West Coast. I think you don't understand, like at that time, 
when you was on that that run, and I and I lately you've been on some shit. I feel like you're getting back in that space. Trying to do what I do. You feel me? But like at that time, hey, hold on, nigga. The verse on brand new, nigga. Oh yeah, that yeah. <laughs> fuck over everybody. Fuck over everybody. Ain't crazy. Yeah, that was fuck bro song. Man, stop playing. You know what I'm saying? That was bro song. I like, but no, that that's beautiful that you can say that because, man, to even get a verse from somebody like Wayne, and like I said at that time, the influence you had on us even before that run, that 08 run. Yeah. I'm letting you know right now, as somebody, I'm really in the shit. Yeah. We really in the shit yeah. for sure. Love outside of New Orleans, you had a big influence on. LA culture, outside of the gang shit that yeah, they try to make yeah. LA all about, but like I'm yeah. talking about like when we say the apex, when yeah. we say that, yeah. nigga, we talking about the apex. We talking yeah. about face tat, tat, get tatted all over, yeah. all that shit. Yeah. The rap, making a nigga even want to rap. Yeah, Facts. Wayne. Love. Yeah. You feel Love. me? So I think that a lot of times when we talking about career and niggas don't say that. And a lot of people feel like, no, we the West Coast, we big Chuck Taylor. No, Wayne got some. That's His love. foot big over here too. That's love. When you go to um, you got Nicki Minaj, you got Drake. How do you go into picking like an artist? How do you even do that? When it came, when I mean Drake and Nicki in them time, that was all organic. You know what I mean? They all we all met each other. Some you know what I mean? Everybody have their own story. How we met? I met this person this way. I met this person. That was all organic. But as far as nowadays, how it goes, get a collage of artists. Cause I don't listen to much. By myself, so I get a collage of artists. Mac, Bob, Mac may bring me a whole bunch of artists and let me hear what I. And sh- I'm gonna listen to what I. If I see something, I could worry. It ain't nobody if I like it. Cause there could be some shit that I hate. But if I hear something in that, I think I could work with this person. And I could. It's almost like seeing a a bad play on a good team. I mean, mm. a good play on a bad team. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean, like, uh, I mean, he's sucking because of this and this and that. I could take him on. I mean, you always be like, man, what if that player played on? That team, though, right. that type of thing. So when I hear artists, I'm trying to see that. And then also, the artist has to be passionate about what they do. You know what I mean? They have to, it has to be nothing else. They have to love it the way I love it or more. And so that that's so rare to find. And I know how rare it is to find that in a person, to be that way about this, the way I was saying Skip is about sports and things. Like, to find that these days, because it's not these days, it's so generic. You know what I mean? So like, I, don't, I rap, why you rap? Or why you wanna rap? Or why you wanna do music? Money. You know, exactly, you should never have an answer. You know I mean, you should never have an answer. You know what I mean? You go to tell me, my kids, my, my that, all that's fine. All that's fine, I get it, so go ahead and do it. Just not gonna do it with me. Mm. You know what I mean? And I hope you get, I hope you feed your kids or whatever the reason was, you're just not gonna do it with me. That's not the reason, I don't want those people over here. You know what I mean? So if your reason is, I don't know, I don't want to do it because I don't know what I want to do. I, God, I, I love it. God, just pick yeah, me. Yeah, I don't have, because I still don't know what I want. I still don't have a reason for why I do this. You know what I mean? It ain't for my kids. It ain't for my mom. It ain't for, to take, that happened in the midst of it. Thank God it did. But trust me, if it wasn't rap that was going to do that, that was going <laughs> to still happen. You know what I mean? So that ain't why I do this. I do this because I don't even know why. And I think the day I, I have an answer is the day I quit. I hope you never have an answer. I hope, like, I, I hope you never have. Exactly. I hope you never have an answer for it. And um, like I said, I'm a D, I'm a I'm a, I'm a Wayne fan. Like you mil- you lived a million lives, man. Squad. Yeah. No cash money. Squad. Mm-hmm. You go on. We even still right now in the room with us. We got gutter. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you remember yeah, filming baller blocking? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, I remember. Filming. What it was like? Oh shit, it was. Back then, man, stunning them had us doing, we would be filming videos and stuff like that. So we me in school was just talking about how back then a video shoot used to be two, three days. One video. You know, that, how, that's how we was laughing at how, you know, now it's so simple. It's just telling school, man, you know what I mean? Film me for, you know what I mean? Film me <laughs> from the crib the doing word. this and school will edit that shit up. That's a video, you know mm. what I mean? But now, now, I mean, back then, shit. You had your call time was at this time, then tomorrow we'll call time at this time. And then and I was like, damn, we used to shoot one day, be one look for one whole day. And the next day, tomorrow's just your next look. Tomorrow, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's like, crazy. I remember that. So with that said, stunning them had us, you know, we, you know, remember we used to shoot videos like a month. You remember we had, up, Exactly. Back, so we were so used to doing it that when we when it was time to we did that in the midst of filming all those videos. So when it was time to shoot the movie Baller Blocking, it was just like shooting a long ass video. Was this supposed to be a part two of Baller Blocking? 
uh, I don't think we ever spoke about it. Uh, we always used to say like Bottle Block and Two, but I don't think they ever thought of a real true, like a true story about it, nothing like that. But it was supposed to be because I think it was supposed to follow Juvie. He grew yeah. up or something like that, yeah. Yeah, that's super dope, man. Um, I, we, I, I, I personally, I'm a Carter Two fan. Like I said, we, we Carter Two fan. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Me and Love. YG, we Carter Two fans. Love. But I understand the commercialized version of Carter Three. You got Babyface on there. You got Hove on there. <laughs> it's the commercialized version of Carter Two. But the, you know, it, it, like I'm talking about million in a week. Mm -hmm. Working with um Static Major like that. Mm. His last major hit was on Carter Three. Like, what was it like working with Static? Now, Static are beasts, but you know, they there was a whole group. Mm -hmm. Static was a part of a group, man. They were signed to Cash Money. He just was the lead of the group. Yeah, and so, yeah, so that he, they had a little R&B group, and he was the lead of that group. So he was like, he would never, you know what I mean? He was navigating whatever they was doing, and when he, he had songs that he had have hooks for and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody wouldn't take to him, but I told you, me, being a little different about the women and the way I approach women, so I could, let me hear that. Mm, that lollipop one, I got something for that. And that's how I go. That's how I came. Yeah. Rest in peace, that man. That was yeah. amazing. Um yeah, we are. the the world of music is changing and streaming exists. A million in a fucking week. How do you feel about things transitioning? Like, I know you're cool with it, but like a million in a week? How do you feel about that, Wayne? That shit can't that shit cannot just get swept under the rug because of streaming. How do you feel about that? A million in a week? Um, I mean, you know, we've been, been that like, you know, being with Cash Money back then, that was, Juven him set those marks already. And so that was, that that's not a, it's not a, you know, it's, that was, that's not a achievement of, of such, of sorts, because Juvie set that mark already. So as artists, we used to already be, oh, I gotta get that, I gotta get that. When I drop my shit, my shit gotta go a million in a week, man. This nigga went a million in a million, nigga went platinum in a week, we got. So that was already, the, that was already the goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's already the pinnacle, so you already wanna, wanna top that at any any time. So me doing it was like, okay, cool, Juvie did it. I try, I'm trying to do that double platinum in a week. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got a question. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I be hearing a lot of, um, it's a lot of motherfuckers right now talking about hip hop dead. Hip hop is dying because of streaming numbers is low. All this mm -hmm. shit. How you feel about that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think if I think for the person that um, whoever says it and mean it, if they say that and mean it, then they're blind right. and they're totally blind. To, I mean, hip hop is hip hop is innovative. I mean, it's growing. It's it's evolving. It's and you is on. I think the person that says that if then if they're a musician, and they said they only piss because they don't know how to evolve with it. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like the. Uh, I always I look at it like uh, Nick Saban, and when Nick Saban when 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 uh, just like a, not even Nick Saban, just those old coaches, those great coaches. When they I remember like when the West Coast offense came in, they had a bunch of coaches like that would never work until they adapted yeah. it. Mm. You know what I mean? And remember, like Nick Saban, he was saying, like, I remember he was like, you know, you don't need a such and such. You don't need a, you don't need a, he, Nick Saban run the ball up the whole game and just defense gonna win. And then I don't, I don't need a quarterback. All of a sudden, I, now we know Jail, now we know Tua, now we know, we know Jalen Hurts. Now Somebody know, gotta he, run the fucking ball. Nick, Nick was saying about <laughs> just like he, you have, have a lot of coaches talk, was hating on the NIL situation. Nick was one of them to, sh and all of a sudden he adapt that shit. Now he got the, he one of the biggest, and you know what I mean? It's just, you gotta, you gotta change with it. If right. you're not, you're gonna end up like Bill Belichick. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> we see right now, them, they playing soft over there, but I've never been a New England fan. But I think that's a great way to look at things. Like you gotta evolve with the music, man, yeah. because that's what makes it great. Like. I even see you doing, you got the baby, you featuring with everybody, you like yeah. locked in. I seen you with NLE Chop, I'm like, yeah. oh, Wayne, oh, yeah, that's true. that. Chop, dumb like, on. it's beautiful seeing you go, I'm this, yeah. but I see where this is going. Oh, like, yeah. featuring like that, like, how do it feel featuring with the younger artists that's like, damn, Wayne, you the greatest? That'd be awesome, because, you know, like you said, when, when I do get to do something with them, I don't think of it that way. I don't, I'm looking at it like, still, you know, I'm in this. So I'm looking at it. We artists, let's do it. We about to do this song together, whatever, whatever. But, you know, of course, when they get to see me and holler at me, they be like, they let me know whatever whatever effect I've had on them, or my music has had on them. And I be, that's when I have to remind myself that they're younger. 
and my music is, you know what I mean? My music meant something to him and it means something to him. And so just like it means to my damn self. To whereas back then I'm doing something whereas I'm doing something with the artists back then, it was more of we were peers. Mm. You know what I mean? They probably didn't even have time to listen to my music because they was involved in their own. Yeah. But these kids, no, they grew up on it. They were raised on it. You know what I mean? Their parents listened to it. And even when they didn't know what the hell I was talking about, I was in there talking. You yeah, know what I, mean? <laughs> I was definitely one of them kids. I remember the first time I met you, we was at Record Plant Studio and shit. That nigga Shug Knight and all them niggas was up there and shit. I see the nigga Wayne. I meet Wayne for the first time. I'm like, I got my vert, I got your verse tatted on my stomach, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, nigga. Y'all you know said I got that quarter two to mob, nigga, yeah, verse yeah, tatted on the yeah. stomach though, yeah. like, yeah, so I was one of them kids. Yeah, so, so that's why I said so when I do something with a young is is after I get that feeling, now it makes it that much better. You know what I mean? It makes it that much better. Now I know I'm not it's no longer it's not the feeling of me being with my peers or amongst my peers. Now I'm feeling that I'm being it's, I mean, it's an honor. It's an honor. Now it's no longer a feature. It's an honor. Yeah. Do, you, do you ever give them advice on like longevity? In of the course, game? of course. Not even on longevity, on whatever they want advice on, whatever they ask something on. Also, they they pick up answers by just watching, just observing. They right. answer a lot of their own questions. Wayne, when you was on that run and you was doing mixtape at the mixtape and you was doing feature at the feature, and you was killing everybody's shit, right? Was you in the studio with these people doing this to these people? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like nah. you was in the studio doing this to these people? Some a lot a lot of times we've been in the studio, but you know, that's when when that happened was right when that era started. When that Sammy just sent a song. Sammy. That's yeah. why I done so many, because everybody like, you know, it's so easy now. Mm. Send it to Wayne. <laughs> send it to Wayne. <laughs> send it to Wayne. You're gonna send it back. That's still that's still the mantra, right? You know what I'm I hate Wayne. to be in there and be like, well, they said who coming to hear the feature? Who? Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga finna <laughs> come flame and shit. Nigga finna come fuck me up. <laughs> fuck me up. I always wanted Hey, that. you feel me? They said you did like a hundred features in one year, right? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that shit too. <laughs> but like me being in the game, me being an artist and shit. Yeah. Was you charging for them hundred features? Cause nigga, yeah. I, nigga that's oh, a bag. That nigga ran. That nigga ran it up. Nigga. That, nigga, that nigga ran that shit. He the ran fuck up a motherfucking bag. You know how it go. Though. You know there's a lot of swapping. Yeah, a little like, swap yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, you know, nigga. I know. Yeah, you I was on five. So. Hundred swaps though. I can't you feel me? How much was your <laughs> fee? Hundred swaps. Like, nah. what was your fee back then? It varies. Yeah. It varies. Is it based that on the person or based on the song? Based on times. Yeah, based on time. And then if you shoot the video, that's another, yeah, that's another feat, nigga. D-A-G. If it's a homie, homie, that's nothing. That's that's a that's a real swap. You know what I mean? Meaning you, we, our people gonna, our lawyers gonna take care of. It and I don't mm -hmm. want nothing. We gonna, I do something for you, do a verse for me, that type of thing. Then, other than that, if I don't, you know, if it's somebody from out the country, out the, you know what I mean? I don't know. Then Run text them. I'm, have, I'm a, always have somebody else to take care of my price and my charge. And then if mm -hmm. they, if the artist can't deal with it, they might, if I know them personally, they can let me personally, let me know I couldn't do this, I could do that, that type of thing. And I'm always work with you because I'm just trying to get the music done. Hell yeah, I know you said that you like only listen to Wayne, but you got, you know, feel me Wayne, you got a phone, you got friends that play shit around you. Yeah. Like, is it any new artist that's, that catch your ear that's like, oh, this nigga right here, he might. I'd be lying if I, if I said that was, bro. I really don't listen to nobody. And it's not, it's no, I tell them I say it every time, there's no disrespect to nobody. I just mm -hmm. work that much. Yeah, like I don't, I'm working on my, my own shit. And so I don't, I don't have time to listen to nobody. Like, that's crazy. I mean, yeah. like the Drake versus the. Nah, Jake every time versus. I hear something new from that boy, I be like, God, God damn, when he did this? Yeah. <laughs> I heard, nigga, literally, no, nah, literally today I had my shit on like the, uh, if you, sometimes when you watch the NBA, you can have it like the four little squares on your TV, you can watch four. So when you watch it like that, a lot of those feeds be the actual feed from the from the arena, so they don't go oh, to commercial. Shit, yeah, they, they don't go to commercial, so when it's a, when it's a timeout, you, it's just like you're at the game, and Hell the, yeah. the, the TV might just play what they playing in the arena. That motherfucker always Drake on every for all four of the damn little boxes. You fucking right. <laughs> a different, a different. His voice when he this age, his voice, his his drunk voice, <laughs> his voice, his, his little voice talking to, to girls' voice. Man, come on, man, cut this nigga out and put the game back on, man. The hell, hey, Wayne, how, how how the fuck did did you get pardoned by by Donald Trump? 
<laughs> Big dog shit. <laughs> Man, that nigga had. Get your hey, name even mentioned wait, that. Hold on, you had to go. Like the gold thing, right? Huh? Like 007. Yeah, you had to thing. That motherfucker was Golden gold eye. or something. Yeah. How do you I'm even like, get look your at name? blood. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give me a gold pistol, okay. nigga. Hey, how do you even get your name mentioning that to get get the big P? <laughs> nigga, I'ma need the plug. Nigga. <laughs> Shout out, uh, hold on. <laughs> Shout out my man. Uh, Shout out Jared. Um, Jared Kushner. I don't want to say everyone, Jared. Shout out Jared Kushner, man. He a huge fan. Just like we, just like all these kids we speaking on. Mm -hmm. Just like, just like uh, YG saying with the, the verse tatted. Just like uh, he's one of, he's one of them. He's one of us. No more, no less. He's a huge fan. Find out the position he held, and said, find out this my situation. And he's that much of a fan. Said shit. If I got, if he was like shit. If I got the power. And I refuse to watch somebody go down like that. If I refuse, like anybody, mm -hmm. he's like, that's, this is how he told me. He was like, you know, I refuse to see anybody go down for something they don't need to be going down for. It's like, and that not my, not, not somebody I'm a huge fan of, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's like, hell no, I refuse. Like, and if I felt like if I could do something, I'm going to do it. And he did it. No, oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's what, that's you know what I'm saying? It's dope to see like his people, is is. It's like dope people out there like that. You that know what I'm saying? That's it for what it is, and then you add on top of and it. And that's when, you, that's when, and that's that goes to answer one of those questions. Goes back to when you say, and that's when I see. That's when I'm able to step back and see the power of whatever that I have done already. That's the that's that's just another testament to the power of my the work. Yeah, that thirty year, that yeah, thirty cause year. Yeah, because I, you know, I, it could have easily been. Nah, he did it because he was trying to get this look, or he was trying to uh, such Attach and such yourself, heard about. Yeah. Nah, it was literally. Dude, come in that motherfucker by it. Come to me to this man, put a word in my shit to me. <laughs> you know, they're gonna spit verses to me straight, <laughs> straight right there. Like, man, listen, man, and tell me what, you know, telling me what's what song he he listened to to get through exams and the cram, you know, he I am imagining the, the exams he talking about to get to the position he yeah, is yeah, with some Lord. different type of exams. It wasn't the ones we were studying for. And he was like, Man, you got me through so much, man. And you look, you know what I mean? When a person tell you that, you're like, that's hard. You're like, you know, you're like that's somebody you've never met in your whole damn life. And this person not only is from a different walk of life, this person is in the damn White House with the president. Yeah, that's crazy. telling you about how, how, you, how you got him through things. You're like, shit. Yeah. Believe that. Appreciate it. You're going to get me through this, right, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep me logged in. Stay saved my number. <laughs> hey, you, uh, my whole life, you've been like the pussy monster, right? Yeah. In 2022, I thought, like, in my, in my, in my, I thought in 2022, I'm like, it's over. We ain't finna hang it up. Big ring, one knee. Do you okay. ever see yourself being married, Wayne? Like, Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Big ring, one knee? Yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely. Do you, are you feel like you're in that space right now with the situation, current situation? I believe that you don't, I, don't, I believe that, you know, love is real love. Mm -hmm. A real love is gonna just hit you. Yeah, I mean, real love. You isn't. You can't plan it. You can't. There's no such thing as I'm in the right. Because I think if you do that, then you also could plan for the time for for you to exit as well. Right. Just like you plan for this is the right time to fall in love, or there's gonna be a wrong time too. Then. Yeah. You know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. You know <what> I mean? <laughs> right. So so therefore, there's no time in my. Whenever it smack me over my motherfucking head, and y'all know that nigga crazy. You see, just like the cartoons, my eyeballs are turned to hearts and shit. <laughs> yeah. I, hey Wayne, I can't I can't hold you. With all respect to your current situation, you had some of the baddest in the game, man. What? I ain't gonna even go down the list. They had me, man. Oh. <laughs> they had me. What, what's man. some of the craziest things that ever happened in like in a relationship with your, you know, being in a relationship? What's what like one of the things that you was like, damn, this shit, this is a real relationship. I'm in some shit. Mm, I don't have situations. I don't have crazy situations. Uh that's again, I think that I owe that to my mom. You know what I mean? She knows how to she always not to stand. I always tell a person explain I explain my mom the same way to the world could end in front of her. If it ain't got nothing to do with her, she know how to turn around and look the other fucking way. You know what I mean? God. So you make sure you have you handle those situations and a woman is always in the right no matter what. You know what I mean? So therefore you if you approach it that way, it's gonna be hard to have crazy situations. I like right, that. Answer. That's deep. What was uh what was your favorite relationship out of all your relationships? Shit, every one of them. 
<laughs> Every single one. That's what the problem. Cause you know they, you know they like they want levels. You know that be the problem. They want you supposed to. Look. I ain't got no. I love every fucking body, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I ain't got nobody, man. I fucking love everybody, man. My mama told me this shit. Like yeah, you, they done it. Like you just a love child. So they, whoever gets you, they better get you and put you up. <laughs> you know how they be saying you gotta get. They be thinking oh, we supposed to get them and put them up. Now nah, you got you got to put me up. You get me, baby. Yeah, yeah. bag it up. You got to bag me up. Yeah, put me nigga up, looking hard. Wait, wait. Yeah. How you, how you shoot your shot, man? Like how you? Hey, man. You send a bottle over there. You slide in the DM. Tell a homie what. How, nah, how you shoot your it's shot? real. Got to be real. It got to be real. I say whatever the hell I ain't even know I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do what I ain't even know I was gonna do. And we we explain nothing. That I explain. We both know that is the answer, the definition to why I did it or why I said it was her. When you Plus put shit, shit together like that, you make you make it sound so easy to just go with it. Any bitch you want to go with, you, no disrespect, you just make, yeah, I'm just going, I'm just winging and binging. You, you feel that nigga said I said it because it was you. I, I wasn't even, was I didn't even know what I said, and I said it, I said it, and it worked. That's how I got her. Now, we have a, a, um, a segment on the show, we call it Keep It 400. Oh, now, I, 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 I know man, you got crazy. like a PR team, and I know you got people that tell you like, hey man, answer it like this, don't do it like that. Right. But this part of the, this part of the show, we want to just get the real answers from Wayne. It's called keeping it full, honey. I'm gonna let YG take over from here, yeah, so yeah. we can. And I, again, if I see you been over there political, I'm gonna say Wayne. No man, man. I ain't gonna do it, oh, Wayne. Man, come on, let's do it. I got you. <laughs> all right, man. All right, look, here we go. Top three female rappers of all time. All time. Yeah. <sighs> Nicki Minaj. Yup. Uh, Lil Kim. Yup. I don't wanna mess it. I don't wanna let me think about this one. Hold up. Nope. Lauren. Nope. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I ain't no, look at nobody. The gang, yo, I ain't look at nobody. I ain't look at nobody. Uh, <laughs> Cause I don't wanna know who they cause they gonna make me think of that person. I'm gonna say that person to somebody else. Not Lauren Hill. Ooh, shit. I like that. I like that. Biggie, Biggie or Hove. Tricky. I don't. I don't. Hope's still here. Yeah. Yeah. Hope's still here. Yeah. Facts. Do you got it? Do you have like a favorite um, Hove like verse, a song, something like that, like that? Where it's like this one. This one Hove was in that bag. What's that? My favorite verse from Hove is um, from a song called "Lucky Me." It was from "In My Lifetime," Volume One. Okay. Yeah. Night session, a day session. Uh, I always start at night, and it's going in the day. Why? Stunning. Um, that's the baby and slim effect. That was okay. always the way it, they worked. They never worked in the daytime. <laughs> Dream job if you wasn't a rapper. Say it again. Dream job if I wasn't a rapper. Yeah. I'd be. I'd be a lawyer, a doctor. Okay. Um. Rank rank all the five Carters one to five. Your favorite. Like the order. Uh from are we going from we're going the one we're gonna start with the top we're top, going. Yeah. Oh, shit. Call the one. Call the two. Call the three. Call the, <laughs> call the five. <laughs> that was so that was a that was a new that album, yeah. yeah, that was, yeah. No, for sure. Uh favorite meal. Man, they asked me this recently, so I ain't gonna say my answer. I say but I meant that and everybody know I meant that. I admit, you already know. On, yeah, you already know, bro. Come on, man. I got a call from my uncle. Shout out, uncle. I ain't gonna say what uncle. I'll let y'all know. Okay, shout out. <laughs> uncle coming back say, nephew. Oh, y'all yeah, know you. And he said, said, boy, you. I said, boy, your face was so serious when you said that, boy. <laughs> it, was, it was dry. It was like pussy. Yeah. And nothing <laughs> else. And he said, boy, you so serious, boy. Boy, you so serious. See, they don't know us. He said, see, they don't know us. He said, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to go eat me some tonight, for sure. <laughs> um, only me or my fucking chefs can't get me. <laughs> yeah, only me or can't, <laughs> can't fucking what? Keep fucking that one up, man. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> if, if you could create an all-time starting five, who would you choose? What sport? Are we talking Basketball. rap? Oh, uh, no, nah, basketball. Starting five. Starting five all time. Mm. Jordan. Yup. One. Uh, 
Shaq. You that? Brian, you already know. Um, I'm a point guard, though. My point guard, I'm going with uh, all time time. I'm still going with uh, I'm going with D. Lilla. I'm going with Dane Town. Oh yeah. And then I need one more, Marcus. one more. I need to, I need one more. I was gonna go with uh, I was gonna go with some length, but I got that with Brian, and so I'm cool. So I'm going. I I need a shooter. I need Steph. Yeah, yeah. Buckies, that's a whole lot of points. <laughs> um, if you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? Nothing. Nothing. Hello. I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? That's keeping it 400. Hey, Wayne, what's worse to you, a lying ass nigga or a broke ass nigga? A lying ass nigga because uh. A broke, broke, broke life just do you that life can use sometimes we don't even, you know what I mean? Broke don't, we don't, everybody don't deserve broke. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, we don't, some, some of us don't end up, end up, some of us end up broke and we ain't asked for that. You know what I mean? So, but a lying ass nigga tell you that he ain't broke. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you be a broke ass nigga yeah. and you just be, you, ask, and you let me know you're a broke ass nigga. It's cool. I can get and a broke nigga. Then a broke ass money. nigga, you could yeah. go. I run a play with a nigga yeah. if, and, and help you fix that line ass nigga. You, you like it ain't no changing no line yeah, ass nigga. You don't nigga. want a line ass nigga. Yeah. Nothing. Ain't about a line ass nigga. You don't want no. you don't want <laughs> something to drinking on the back of it. It don't tell you what it really. Uh, lie yeah, to you. No trickery going exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. say strawberry. You drink it. It don't taste any <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> no, taste like lemon. Exactly. Fucking hint water. I'm sorry. <laughs> hint water. <laughs> I hate that shit. Shit. Put all them damn flavors on that. Shit don't taste like none of that shit. Shit tastes like water. <laughs> But you know that was another situation. He ain't gonna be <laughs> mad at me. Hey, when you got? Hey, look, 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 look. But before we get into that, you know what I'm saying? You said favorite meal is pussy. You yes. know what I'm saying? The pussy monster himself. Himself. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I got a um. That's not that. <laughs> That's not releasing. He got a baloney. He got a baloney. Uh, a male enhancement. Oh, oh. Sex pill. Okay. It's a All dick natural. pill. This motherfucker work like Hold a Hold on. You got to let me do the cunt. Dog. You know how. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what's up? Talk to know, me. Talk to me. I don't know if y'all watch sports shows. Like, because I don't know if this commercial only come on on sports shows. But on the sports channels or whatever. But, boy, they got this commercial. But these these dudes be, they pissed off about for people. They trying to tell people stop buying Viagra from, uh from like CVS and shit and you buy from whatever and they be, the commercials funny, you know, I, man, I gotta let them know all that shit he talking about. Trevor, you gotta get these, nigga. You talking about, <laughs> Oh, so man. we gotta get Wayne to do the official, official, official yeah. Sherry Bum yeah. commercial, what? man. Yeah, these all, you know what I'm saying? So it's an all natural male enhancement. It's all herbal, you know what I'm saying? What? And the pill capsule is, is vegetarian, see? you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna let them know and I'm gonna let y'all know on there, look, I'm gonna see if this shit work. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> listen, and, and, listen, and listen, every, Nigga who would have said that to we me. We filmed the first episode, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, look, I'm gonna keep it real. I, I, I'm the type of nigga to keep it a buck. I'm like, YG, you just putting your name on some shit, man. Don't be just having me right. saying no shit, putting right. your name on it. I cooked breakfast, I did the egg, steak, hash brown, orange juice, and just know I was a train wreck at eight in the morning. I was a mad scientist in there. I ain't gonna hold you. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if niggas know about the honey packs. I know niggas know about the honey packs and all mm -hmm. that. All that shit bullshit. You feel me? This that shit right here. So, you know what I'm saying? I have to let you know what I got going man, on. Hell I'm yeah. Put you on. It's a pack man, right there. Fuck yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? That's too hard. Let me know. I know I'm going to get a phone call or a text message and shit. You're going to be like, yes. <laughs> yeah, <Cherry laughs> like <bomb>. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, leave that. Leave that. Viagra bush, all that shit is bullshit. You it's know what I'm saying? Natural. Whatever they put in that shit, natural, who knows? Why we here? I <laughs> forgot. I said I was told myself. That's the other thing. Your well, chef can't cook up. He can't cook that up. Man, he can't. Up man, 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 can't. Did myself up two pack. I ain't steal it. I'm telling you, I put myself two packs up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wayne, right. before we get out of here, man, you got anything you want to say to the people, man? Anything at all? Man, love yourself, man. Love yourself. Love yourself. Trust the person in the mirror. If you don't believe that person, if you forget what, forget it. Keep, bring, keep you a small mirror. Which, if you gotta remind yourself, it's all about you, man. You are your world. Love yourself. Beautiful. Yeah. That. Jizzle. Anything. Four hundred gang. Four hundred gang, man. 
Big bro, appreciate you for pulling Ain't up. Already. You know what I'm saying? Shit mean a lot. Um, you already know what it is with me. The big yeah. one. The big one. Hey, please subscribe to us on all podcasts. If you listen to anywhere in the world, subscribe to us, man. 400 podcasts, and we out of here. You yeah. already. 400.